Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. This reading is for Taurus. This is for the week of October 25th through the 31st. Uh, we are going to do you, them, and the connection. Uh, we are also going to grab a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message, a Romance Angel Oracle Card from Doreen Virtue, a Silhouette Card by Celestial Forecast by Carrie, and we're going to end the reading off with a Goddess Love Oracle from Wendy Andrews. Um, so... Thank y'all for coming to my station. I do appreciate that very much. Um, keep in mind, these are general readings. Um, if you are looking for something that, uh, I'm sorry, if this doesn't resonate for you and you're looking for something that might resonate a little bit more, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. Taurus, if you're unfamiliar with your moon <laughs> and your rising signs, then there is a link in the description box below that'll take you to a website to get that for you. Um, if you're if you're interested in a personal read, uh, feel free to check out the link below. Also, to my website, we'll tell you how to do so. As always, as always, as always, thank you so much for um, coming to view. I appreciate it. Oh, guys, what? Seven of Cups is the bottom of the deck energy. So this could be lots of options. This could be confusion. Could be a wish fulfillment, but I don't know if I see that in the connection at this point. Um, I think it's probably more confusion. So let's uh, let's get into as the why. So you're showing up, Taurus, as this very stable, grounded energy, right? The Ten of Pentacles. So your finances are in order. You're um, you're stable. You're committed. You're loyal. You're looking for a solid relationship. You want this happiness. You want this. Uh, wedding you want this relationship this dog house family white picket fence um but taurus you have some choices to make here so we have not only do we have the two of swords which is like feeling like you're kind of blindfolded at a stalemate not sure which way to go we also have the chariot which is making a choice taking forward action usually in a positive direction but as you can see from this card here we have two horses a light horse and a dark horse hence the reason I think you're confused or this, there's confusion in this situation. You're not really sure what to do. Your person, though, they, they're looking pretty solid. The person you're thinking of, we have the Ace of Cups, which is they're ready to offer this new cup of love to you. They, they are loving, compassionate, um, empathetic, warm. They have this love to give you. Three of Pentacles, they're willing to be your teammate, put in some hard work. And you have lots of nostalgic feelings for this person. So potentially it could be someone from your past. Um, someone that you just feel happy feelings about. Um, I mean, it could be a childhood friend. It could be someone from college. It could be someone you work with potentially with this Three of Pentacles, Taurus. But I feel like this person has love and there's warmth here, right? Like there's, um, I don't know what your other choice is though. We're going to we're gonna take a peek because when I look at your um connection for for the connection between the two of you there's the queen of swords the seven of wands and the devil so in this connection and i feel like the queen of swords so the queen of swords can be like someone who is very clear in mind very intellectual uses their mind over their heart um but they can also be someone that's kind of cold and detached so i feel like um I don't know, Taurus, if you're having some issues with like addiction type things, could be like a substance addiction, substance abuse, workaholism, uh, drug use, alcohol use. Maybe you're depending a bit on that because the devil is popping up here. But um, the connection is one that is kind of um, detached and uh, you're, it's, it's like... Um, you, someone's keeping themselves protected. They're keeping the, it's guarded. Um, due to a potential devil card here. So this could be a Capricorn or it could be um, could be like addictions, self self entrapment. I feel like the devil card, a lot of people get weirded out. Um, it could be a toxic relationship. It could be a karmic. It could be um, addictive type things, obsessive type thoughts. But I really feel like it's what we put, we subject ourselves to. It's our self-imprisoned thoughts and things that keep us there and keep this devil card present. So.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clarify um, this relationship. I'm actually going to just take a couple more cards. So I'm leaving the seven of cups to the side because that was on the bottom of the energy deck. I'm going to get like two more cards, excuse me, for the relationship. Yeah, so okay. Okay, so we get on the bottom of the deck the second time the Ten of Swords. So something is coming to an end. Perhaps it's this addictive tendency, this guard being guarded, being detached. Because when I wanted to clarify the future situation, um, I came out with the Magician and the High Priestess. So to me, like the Magician is um, someone who is manifesting a soulmate, manifesting true love, wants the magic, right? Wants this magic here. Um, and the high priestess is like really kind of a spiritual ground, a spiritual connection, um, using your intuition. So I, I think that the ending, the ten of swords there on the bottom of the deck for the second bottom of the deck card, um, I think it will. So there'll be an ending of these options. You're going to make a choice and you're going to move forward. So perhaps your choice is not a second person. Perhaps it's like a, a behavior. So you're going to... Um, alter that maybe tap into your intuition your spirituality and do some healing um and manifest this person um they're there they're they're in the shadows for you right now they're not um up close and personal and they're a great person so check it out taurus we're going to get a silhouette card from celestial forecast by carrie this could be a message from a person or it could just be like general info so this is springtime march april may Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, love blooms. So um, perhaps this connection will take bloom in the springtime. Give you some time to work on yourself, Taurus. It could potentially be a Pisces, Aries, Taurus, or Gemini. <laughs> like you. All right, guys. We're going to get a Romance Angel Oracle card from Doreen Virtue. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, and then on the bottom of the deck is wedding. This situation involves marriage. So you're manifesting this soulmate. You are going to have this love and marriage that you're seeking, which is really nice, Taurus. You just got to um, yeah, get rid of this uh, choice with the devil type energy that's attached to it. Whether it's a karmic, it could potentially be a karmic, I guess, right? I want to be there for you, there to take care of you. Yeah, nice. So I think this person wants you as much as you want them. All right, guys, we are going to close this reading off. Sorry. With a goddess love oracle card from Wendy Andrew for Taurus. This one went fast, Taurus. Sorry. Aries was about 10 minutes. Yours is only eight right now at this point. Well, I guess you're going to get a couple cards. Um, Radiance, rejoice in your life and shelter. You are cherished. So I'm not reading these book these books, but I um when I look at these, I feel like I feel like you're coming into like the winter, right? Like so um this healing, dropping of this karmic, ending this devil like behavior, ending this guardedness and and this detached behavior like the Queen of Swords and coming into something awesome in the springtime. Um that looks more I guess it's spring like radiance. Would you oh Rejoice in your life. Yeah. So I think this is what's coming towards you in the spring, Taurus. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys. That is going to be it for the reading today. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.